All right, guys, so I'm going to show you how to get a title sequence in here so we can make a little movie uh, like intro title. And uh, what we're going to do is there's a couple of ways to do this. I find the easiest way is using some type of text editor program. I use Photoshop and I'm going to write my text and I'm going to put this on an alpha uh, transparent um, background so that when it comes in, all I'll see is the font here. And I love Photoshop because you can get all the fonts built in. Now there's a way to do this in Unreal and I may build it in, but for now, let's just export this, which I've already done. And what I'm gonna do now is go in Unreal and I'm gonna create a, a folder. I'm gonna go to my cinematics and I'm gonna maybe create a folder called, uh, you know, um, intro or, or text. Uh, for the video, so I'm going to make this a color just because that way I know it's me that created it and I'm going to import the um, Basically the PNG that I exported so I exported as a PNG to make sure I'm able to uh, preserve the transparency so Here it is. So I bring this in now if I drag this in it will not work so what I need to do is right click and go under sprite actions and click create sprite so this sprite will now uh, be an element that will work in my um, video. To make this simple, I'm gonna go to an area where there's none of my filming. There are ways to, to tweak it, but let's keep it as simple as we can for now. And what I'm gonna do now is I am going to drag this into the level, okay? And I am now ready to film this. So I have to make a new sequencer. So what I'm gonna do, <coughs> I'm going to go back to my main cinematics folder. I'm going to call this under cinematics level sequence. I'm going to call it uh, intro vid. I could do one for my outro with my titles and, and uh, you know, um, credits to whoever uh, participated or anything that I've used, etc. I'm going to double click on this and I'm going to just basically drag my font in here. And I'm now going to create a camera. And I'm going to back up and I'm going to do just like I just did and create a sequence. Um, if anything was out of focus, I could focus it, but everything looks really good. So what I'm going to do is turn on auto keyframe, which it's already on. I'm going to go to the beginning of the transform track and say this is where I start. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit like this. And it doesn't seem to be picking up on the zoom, so I'll do it. So let's just see if that worked. And then maybe here I can pan up like, like this. And how long do I want these credits to be? Well, there's kind of a little swerve there. I'm gonna leave it, but you could tweak that. I'm gonna go four seconds. So remember this is where the video ends. I'll even go 3.5 seconds, that's pretty good. And, and, and maybe, zoom back in here and I'll click on location here let's see how that looks so that's pretty good so now I'm done I'm going to save that what I'm going to now do is create kind of a master sequence so there used to be a different way to do this it was a lot more complicated now all you do is you go to cinematics click a level sequence we'll call it master and we're going to open it and over here under tracks, we're going to go camera cut shot track. Sorry, this is the one I need. And what I'm going to do is go get my first shot, which is my intro video. Now, a lot like the original video, we're going to make this about 40 seconds because it has encompassed the other video. So my other video, I forget how long it was, but what I'll do is move this all the way over here. Then I'm going to go get my nut, uh, my, I only have one sequence, but you could have multiple sequences here. And what I want to do is make sure this ends right at the end here. So what I'm going to do now is go to the top, press the camera. This is what I will output. So I go like this. Now I could add a little sound effect in there if I wanted to for the intro. There's a, you could just go here, audio track. And again, um, the audio doesn't always export. Uh, it's unfortunate. It is kind of a bit of a problem with uh, the basic editor. So I don't have too many cool songs here. 
This song is the one I already am using, so I don't want to use that. Maybe this explosion or something gets people's attention, and here's the rest, okay? So now I'm ready to export. Now I could add a end credit here. Okay, I'm going to end it right there, so I'm going to move that right over here. Now, again, if I wanted to add a credit, I would just make a new sequence, add it at the bottom here, and that's all I would do. So I'm going to save this, Command Shift S to save the whole project as well. And what I want to do is, you see where this clapperboard is? That is what I want to do. And I'm going to be using the, the default uh, Unreal Engine exporter. So there is a, it's called Legacy, and that's the one I want to use. So we're just waiting for this to save here. I kind of always save my projects, uh, but when I make videos, sometimes it takes a little bit longer, and I apologize. But it's a very good practice because Unreal Engine loves to crash. And sometimes, you know, when you do the recovery process, you don't get everything back. So uh, it's it's definitely a good idea. So I'm going to just double check at Movie Scene Capture. I'm going to click on this. I'm going to go to AVI, which is, and then Master Audio Submix. And down here, where do I want it to export? I want it to export here. And so let's just click Capture. And it should do its thing. Uh, give me a second. Something is missing here. 24 frames per second. Yeah, I don't know. It seems like that folder is not working, so I'll just bring it over here. And there you go. It's rendering. So this is going to take a couple of minutes, and at the end, you should be able to see your video. There's always a little broken frame at the beginning. Um, I would just leave it. I don't know of a way to easily take it out. The bottom line is your students will have a really nice video with audio, and they'll be able to upload it to Google Classroom, share it with you. So there you go. If you have any other questions, please let me know.